Hey runners, if you are guilty of not warming up, then you're not alone. But that doesn't mean that you can get away with it. I know that time is short and when you're going out for a run, you want to maximise every minute to get those miles in. But just spending a couple of minutes warming up can make a real difference. If I said to you, do you want to avoid injury? You'd say yes. Do you want to improve your running form, run more efficiently? You'd say yes, please. Well, there's no magic pill that's going to do that for you. You have to put in the work and one of the ways you can do that is through your warm up. Now, when it's cold outside and you don't want to stand around too much, you're waiting for your Garmin to get going, that's when you can start doing your warm up. Or if it's really cold and really rainy and the thought of doing some high knees um, outside your house is a bit too much, do it inside. So this is going to be a warm up that you can do in your house before you go outside so you can be finishing off that zoom call or whatever it is turn that camera off you can be doing your warm-up while you're listening and then press end meeting and off you go or you're waiting for your other parent to come home so you can get out um, it's easy to do at home and then you're ready to go you could also use it if you're in a race start You've got a little bit of space around you. Do a few of these moves to help get yourself ready to start running and to start running well. That is the key. So a warm up will prepare our body for running. Uh, it's going to help us get in the zone mentally and physically so we can just concentrate on running and everything should be feeling good for that first mile. So here we go. Let's start just walking on the spot very simple and we're going to gradually raise your heart rate up so if you've been sat down just standing up and walking on the spot is going to start to do that we're not going into anything too explosive anything too um, energetic first off just walking on the spot is going to help and then we swim those arms a little bit more and bring it into a march so bringing that tempo up bringing that heart rate up a bit more And then let's take our hands to our shoulders and start moving. So I've probably got enough space to sling my arms around here. But let's imagine you've got a little bit less or you're in a race start. You don't want to give anyone a black eye before the race gets going. And then take the arms the other way. Just warming up those shoulders. I can feel I'm already getting a little bit, a little bit breathless already. That's the heart rate coming up. Okay. Back to your marching arms. And now we're going to bring the knee up to about hip high. So a, a marching high knee. Try and use those core muscles. Pull it all nice and tight. And back to a march. So when you're doing that, you can concentrate on having your elbow around 90 degrees and pushing it back past your body as you go. So try that again. And get those running arms. And if you can get that running arm, driving the elbow back like that when you're running, it's gonna make all the difference. Okay, let's take it up to a jog now. Jogging on the spot, nice light feet. We've all done this in the uh, changing room, testing out a sports bra, haven't we? Jogging on the spot in that, in that cubicle. Does it do the job? Okay, so you can stay at high knees like this, or if you're feeling it, you can go for some fast ones. Think about pumping those elbows back. Lovely. Okay, this time, we're going to bring our heel right the way around. There's a couple of ways of doing this sort of movement, but we're going to concentrate on this one, keeping our knees as kind of in the same position as, as possible, just bringing that heel round towards the bum. So it's kind of a dynamic stretch for the front of the thigh, yeah? So 
if you can see, hopefully my knees aren't moving too much away from where they are. Okay, if you're feeling it, you can take it a little bit faster. Bring that heel up to bump. Still trying to bring those, keep those knees where they are. Lovely. Now the other version of that, keep walking on the spot. The other version of that is to bring your heels straight up. So if you imagine this line where my leg is, that heel's going to come straight up underneath. Okay, instead of slinging it round, so bring it right up underneath. Okay. You can walk it out. Or jog it out. So straight up underneath your bottom. Good. Okay. Jogging or walking on the spot. Hopefully that heart rate's coming up a little bit more now. Okay. Feet a bit further than hips distance apart. Take those hands to those hips and make some big hip circles. And then the other way. Might find some bits that feel a bit stickier than others as you go around. Pay attention to those and then when you come back from your run, maybe give them a little bit more TLC with your stretching. Okay, stand up tall now. A little balance on, so you can hold on if you want, but it's good for working your balance. Bring the knee up and out to the side. Just loosen up that hip. We've got this opening the gate. Yeah, there we go. Opening the gate. Okay, then we're going to close the gate. So knee out to the side and in again. How's your balance? Okay, then we're going to do a hamstring scoop. So this is not a hamstring stretch in the way that you would do it at the end. We don't do static stretches where we stretch and hold them before we run. So it's a movement. The movement's going through nothing. We're not staying in any one position. So leg out, bring your arms up and swap. So down, toe down on the ground, stick your bum out and scoop those arms. Should feel a little stretch through the hamstring. If anything's hurting, then back off. We're keeping that movement, keeping that heart rate up as we go. Good. Let's go back to a little jog. Okay, we're going to pay some attention to your feet now. So, toes stay on the ground. Make a big circle. Trace a circle with the ankle. Don't know if you can hear mine creaking a little bit. It's a sign that I need to do it maybe a little bit more often. And opposite way with the heel, change the direction of that circle. Okay, other foot, toe stays in, big toe stays in contact with the ground, and the heel just traces a circle round. And other direction. Good. So now let's keep our toes on the floor and lift our heels up, yeah, stretching out the bottom of that foot a little bit. Do you remember those things I had in the 80s where it was kind of like a stepper? Always think about that, they were like infomercials, you could phone in and buy them. Maybe you're too young to remember those. Good, now heels on the floor, toes up, walking on your heels. This is always a nice one at the end of a, of a day when I'm doing running groups in the evening, people who are into the office and maybe wearing heels. 
and this is a good one just to gently stretch out that calf a little bit. Let's do the opposite, up on your toes, walking on tiptoes, see how high you can get that heel off the ground. And then let's go back onto the heels again, because that's the one we probably need. We all need a little bit more of the calf waking up, warming up. Okay, back to a jog. We're nearly there, you should be feeling a little bit warmer now than when you started. Hopefully you didn't quite put all your winter layers on before you started this. Okay, we're going to do fast feet now. We're going to go fast for a count of five and then back to this light jogging side. Okay, you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Do it two more times. Hopefully my dance door neighbours are out. <laughs> you ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, one more time. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do three more things, okay, then you're ready to go. So let's start with a few squats. Don't, you don't need to go too deep, we're just waking up these muscles, yeah, telling them we're not going to be sitting down anymore, we're going out. They're going to have to start pulling their weight. So, squat down, keeping those knees over those ankles, keep the chest up, just waking your bum up. Do three more, two more, and one. Okay, lovely, shake your legs out. We're gonna do a crab walk, so we're gonna go halfway into that squat position. Yeah, chest up, and we're just gonna take little steps sideways, and back the other way. Let's go that way again. So if you've got a resistance band, you could put this around your feet, get a little bit more, uh, get those glutes working a little bit more. Okay. Last one. So we're going to do a couple of lunges. If you're feeling nice and ready and warm, let's do them. You don't have to. Uh, if you feel still a bit creaky. Okay. So. Big step forward and then the front knee stays over the front ankle. You ready? Go. Nice. And then we're going to step that way forwards. Ah. Swap legs so the opposite leg leads. Knee stays over the ankle and step up forwards. Okay. Big step forwards and step into it. Yeah. Last one. Big step forwards and step into it. Okay, a little jog, shake those arms out, shoulders up to your ears and relax them, shoulders up to your ears and relax them, yeah, bring those shoulder blades down your back and that is how you're going to be when you go for your run, nice and tall and upright, think about those elbows swinging back, keeping that nice tall position. Enjoy!